I bet you don't know how to analyze this algorithm. This is the factorial function. Pretty basic. We got n, the number that we want the factorial of, and we have another variable, accumulator, that pretty much represents all of the multiplications we've done so far in the factorial. The analysis is simple enough. We do n recursive function calls, and each block takes O of 1 work, so the algorithm takes O of n time in total. What about space? Well, we're not creating any new values at any point, so it's O of 1 extra space, right? WRONG! When using recursion, a function will call itself and then eventually backtrack to the next line. This requires putting the current variables aside and storing them in what's known as the process stack. This stack represents each of the recursive function calls and contains the variables of each level of recursion. Since this algorithm goes n layers deep into recursion, the stack has n items in it, so we use O of n extra space for the variables that we need later. This isn't the most efficient way to calculate factorial, but the moral of the story is, consider the process stack when running an algorithm analysis.